today I'm teaching you how to care for a gerbil, so get some out. Okay, so I'm teaching you how to, how to care for a gerbil. My gerbil's in there. He's sleeping. So, one thing is you need to make sure you give him a lot of activity. So, like, one place is room to hide, one, you know, one place is where he can play. Because I love to play. So, that's his cupcake. He's sleeping. Like, see if I'm not. Hey, wake up. There he is. I see him. Okay, you can come out. You want to show your adorable face? You're also a good, you want to be a good beginner pet. So this is Cupcake. If you don't know, they're nocturnal. So I'll go. They're nocturnal. He is, this, this is a boy. He's not really about to, up to three years if you take care of him really good. So, yeah. Mm. I've probably seen Cookie a bunch of times before. If you watch my channel. And this is what they eat. So, so this, is, this is a mixture of like seeds. And Cookie oh, loves it. So, Cookie's in there. He's. Like, so I give him this wheel, but he doesn't use the wheel. So, he. I lay it down and put shades in it. He has a little log there. And the, our house is like. I put it connected kind of. This is a good cake. Cause the top layer. Second layer, bottom layer. Cupcake doesn't escape. Even if I leave the door open, he doesn't escape. He's a really good boy when we come out. Oh, come here. Oh, come here. Come here. Okay, it's not that hard to get out. This is Cupcake. He's really adorable. Oh, buddy. You guys gotta make sure you gotta check every once in a while to see if they lost. Uh, some have to start tooth or anything. Make sure. Check the teeth. And they're a pretty good beginner pet, I would say. So, like, if you want a good beginner pet that's not a dog, a cat, this is a good one. He's really calm. The only thing about it is when you're trying to sleep, like my bed's right there, it's a mess, um, he will kind of make a lot of noise. I'll be digging in the shavings, do whatever he wants. <laughs> He's really cute. So I think I'm going to do And all you got to do is make sure that they have a water big full of water, <laughs> mostly filled, and a food bowl, whatever. The food bowl's here, the water bowl's there, because the water thing will fall off there. The water bottle there, food bowl there. Cupcake is right, right now, he's just looking at me. What are you doing, huh? <laughs> and you only have to clean that cage out about every two weeks. We do it whenever we do our dog's bath, or every, like, for every two weeks, just give them a bath. I mean, change out their cage, like, take all the shavings, and you also want to make sure that you clean off these if you have them. But he's good. Him and my brothers. So, I think, I like really cute, but I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you the tip of how to take care of them. So, and that one thing you must know is to, you always need to check on them, make sure they're fine. Well, this is not always, but sometimes you just need to check on them, just make sure, see if they're okay. And another thing is when you wake them up when they sleep and they get really mad at you. So you kinda have to be careful. And he's not turning so yeah, I, I said that, but he's not turning so he's mad at me because I just got him up. But he's okay. He's and this is a really good barred cage. I think barred cages are the best. Barred and um glass. Always make sure you get barred because they like to chew. So like his house, the slides. Anything in here that's plastic that he can eat. The log is edible back there. Um, one thing that he eat, what he will eat. He will chew up everything. He chews up. Look his look at his food bowl. <laughs> Him and Chibi chew up everything. So you have to make sure you don't just expect some things to live last stay together for good forever. My cupcake. <laughs> and another way to tell if they are a gerbil, like say you have gerbil then we don't see one, but you don't know if the gerbil is a rat or a mouse or in your house. Or a gerbil, what is it? It's a tail. They always has, they don't have furry tails. Like, okay, you trying to go back to sleep. He sleeps in a log. Those are really good. Those are called edible logs. They get them at, you can go to Walmart. They're really good. The big ones, and that's like the small one. Cupcake loves it. And I did something else cool. I put the house up against here, so you have to go through the log to get in the house. I think those things are kind of cute, but it's kind of hard to get him out. Oh, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> He's fine. He won't come out. I promise. 
fixed it. One time I left the door open, came back, he was fast asleep. <laughs> so he actually left the door open. Get no cobay, which is my brother's. All the way in there, you can see his cage. Right there. <laughs> um, he's really crazy. He looks get final in way to take. A couple met in the last month. He got out of his cage and he was in a mouse trap. He was in one of the glue ones. So but Cupcake has never escaped. I've never really lost Cupcake in my life. Cupcake just not. And also make sure that you fill feed them at least once a feed them once a day in the morning, which is a really good time. Make sure the bottom of the bowl is full full. You don't have to feed them that much. Don't feed them the whole bowl, then they're gonna get huge and you don't want that to happen. And Cupcake looks cute, but he really he just so fresh. Hey buddy, you wanna come to the camera? He's really cute. And he does chew on these bars, so these bars are like really rough, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I really want a glass cage for him because I want to make sure like I, ha I can take care of him really good. I think he'll enjoy a glass cage. Look at Cupcake. And he sleeps in a log. And him and Chibi fit, fit in there together. Cupcake likes to sleep right in the opening. But the, he loves the log. Well, at first when I bought it, he didn't like it, but now he loves it. So, that's his care instructions to take care of a gerbil.